Right, just trying to do a quick video about how to change Nissan 350Z headlights from left hand drive to right hand drive. If, like me, you've got a UK car, it'll have bits like this in it. If, however, you want to move it over to the continent, the European continent, you need ones which look a bit different. They will look like this. This is a US one, and this is an NZ one. So this is the left-hand side, and this is the right-hand side. Sometimes on the castings, you have L and R to indicate that. But not always. The UK ones, you do. The NZ one is an older one, and uh, the US one. So for the full beam, basically this solenoid activates and pushes this up for full beam. So on dipped beam you're supposed to get a light pattern which has more on one side and less on the other side to avoid blinding oncoming cars on the opposite side of the road. And the same on the other side. So the curb should be lit as in more light and the uh, oncoming traffic should have less light going towards them. And in the UK because people drive on the opposite side of the road they are backwards, which you can see. So to change them over, you need a pair of these and stick them in here. Now there's two styles of casting it appears. There's a style of casting which looks like this, which has two screws to take the pin out which is through the hole here to get that off. There's another style of casting which looks like this US one and that basically has a pin that's been pushed in in the factory which I have removed and it goes in on one side where there's an arrow and it comes out on the other side where there is no arrow and it secures this in place so that it can pivot around like on this one right um, but to get this out of it here you've got to heat it up to you've got to heat the whole casting up with nothing else attached to it to about 230 degrees celsius for about five minutes or so and then you can use a punch pin and punch it out the opposite way from the way that the pin was pushed in so you start from the end that doesn't have the arrow as in you punch it out from this side, not from this side. And you have to punch it out all the way through and it's a tight fit on both ends, less so on this side. It's a slightly larger hole than it is on here, uh, but on one of the ones that I did it was still stiff on this side as well. So here you can see two more that I've pushed out. And the castings for the UK ones are also slightly different. They have this raised part here on the US one, that has been milled off. You can see that on the right hand side over here. Those are the two UK ones. So these parts are identical. So you need a pair of parts which are identical, which are opposite from the UK ones either the NZ ones or apparently the NZ ones or the US ones or probably ones from Germany, France, Spain etc 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 um, but I couldn't find any of those at a reasonable price and here's an, an I assume this is NZ because it's got an NZ code but I don't know for certain so I've got three of those I don't know yet whether this one will fit one of these because they look a little bit different. I hope they do, because I bought these as a pair. And I need both of them. And the people that packed this didn't do a very good job and broke this casting in the post. So I can't use this casting, which was really annoying. Still, what are you going to do? Anyway, to get those out of the headlights, I'll just quickly go over that. This is what is left guts of the headlight. There's a bit more inside. 
um, but you have to take the bumper off to get the whole head uh, headlight assembly out. It's secured in with four screws, I believe. I can't remember where they were, but it's a combination of some of these ones and maybe some around here. I don't remember. I'll remember when it goes back on though. And you have to remove all the wiring. You can't get this off until it's uh, out. Uh, so you have to take the ballast off. You take the cover off. There's three O-rings. This is a bit of a gotcha because this one sometimes gets stuck on the place that it comes from, which is here. You don't always see it, but there is one there. You don't want to cook the O-ring. Uh, to get these apart, yeah, you remove all the guts and then you stick these in the oven for about uh, five, no, eight minutes at 120 degrees Celsius. That's eight minutes at 120 degrees Celsius. Right, let's try that one more time. Eight minutes at 120 degrees Celsius. There we go. Uh, once you do that, you start at the bottom end of the reflector and you start to pry it apart and then you work towards the top end. So this is the bottom end. The larger end is the bottom. So you pry it apart somewhere in the middle of these two tabs here and that then comes apart and the whole thing will slide away slightly. You can see there's a, a part that it sits in here. So you pry it apart at this side and before you cook it, don't forget to remove all the screws holding it in. There's a few of them. One, I'm pretty sure there's four. There's one that normally lives down there. Two, uh, oh yeah, three, four, five. So you remove those before you cook it. And then once you cook it, you can separate it. Once you've separated it, you get one of these as an assembly out of it and then you can do what you need to do with those.